Look at them, struggling with their primitive weapons. Overlord Korgoth sneered over comms. How do these humans even hope to survive? Captain John Harrison smirked, his hand resting on Rex's head. You're about to find out, Korgoth, he muttered, giving the signal. Unleash the dogs. The human military outpost stood battered and beleaguered on the alien planet's surface. Dust and smoke hung thick in the air, mingling with the sounds of distant explosions and the crackle of gunfire. Captain John Harrison, grim-faced and resolute, surveyed the battlefield from the command center. Alien forces advanced relentlessly, their mocking broadcasts echoing through the outpost's comm system. Is this all you've got, humans? Overlord Korgoth's sneering voice boomed. You're nothing but a joke. Harrison's fists clenched at his sides. He turned to Lieutenant Sarah Mitchell, who was monitoring the situation. Status report, Lieutenant. Supplies are critically low, sir, Mitchell replied, her voice steady despite the chaos. Reinforcements are still days away. Harrison nodded, frustration etched on his face. We hold the line no matter what. Private Mark Jensen, a young soldier with wide eyes, approached. Sir, how can we win this? They outnumber us, and their technology is far superior. Harrison placed a reassuring hand on Jensen's shoulder. We fight with everything we've got, and we've got one last trick up our sleeves. Just then, a coded message from Earth came through, flashing on the screen. Harrison's eyes widened as he read it. Authorization for the deployment of their secret weapon had been granted. He turned to his officers, gathering them around the display. Gentlemen, we have a plan, Harrison announced. Meet our secret weapon, the canine unit. The officers exchanged skeptical glances. Dogs, sir? One of them asked. Not just any dogs, Harrison clarified. These are highly trained, combat-ready, and bred for intelligence and loyalty. They're our last hope. The officer's skepticism turned to cautious optimism. The thought of relying on something so unconventional was both unsettling and oddly comforting. Harrison led them to the kennels, where the dogs were being prepped. The lead dog, a German shepherd named Rex, looked up at him with intelligent eyes. We're counting on you, buddy, Harrison whispered, patting Rex's head. The outpost braced for the next assault. Soldiers reinforced their positions, while the canine unit was fitted with tactical gear and advanced communication devices. Harrison took a moment to address his troops. I know you're tired, and I know you're scared, he began, his voice carrying across the outpost. But we're not done yet. These dogs are part of our team, and together, we're going to show those aliens what humanity is capable of. As night fell, the alien forces launched their attack. Bright flashes of energy weapons lit up the sky as the aliens advanced with confidence. Overlord Korgoth's voice mocked them once more. Prepare to be wiped out, human. This is your end. Harrison gave the order. Unleash the dogs. The kennel doors opened, and the dogs sprang into action. With incredible coordination and agility, they navigated the battlefield, using their keen senses to outmaneuver the alien soldiers. The aliens, expecting an easy victory, were caught completely off guard. Rex led the charge, his tactical gear allowing him to communicate with Harrison and the other dogs. They executed their maneuvers flawlessly, disrupting the alien formations and causing chaos among their ranks. The human soldiers, inspired by the dog's bravery, rallied and counterattacked with renewed vigor. Private Jensen fought alongside Rex, the dog's presence giving him newfound courage. Let's show them what we're made of, he shouted, firing his weapon with determination. The tide began to turn. The dog's unexpected effectiveness and the human's renewed spirit drove the aliens back. Harrison watched the scene unfold from the command center, a fierce smile on his face. We're not done yet, he murmured. 
not by a long shot. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the battered human outpost. The air was thick with anticipation and the distant rumble of alien machinery preparing for another assault. Captain John Harrison stood in the command center, a picture of steely resolve. Final checks, everyone, he called out. This is it. Lieutenant Sarah Mitchell approached, her eyes meeting Harrison's. The dogs are ready, sir. Rex is eager to lead. Harrison nodded, glancing at the row of canine warriors standing at attention, their eyes sharp and focused. Rex, the German shepherd, stood at the forefront, his tail wagging with a controlled intensity. Harrison knelt beside him, rubbing the dog's head. Ready to show them what we're made of, boy? Rex barked softly in response his ears pricking up at the sound of approaching alien troops. Harrison rose, his expression hardening. Let's make sure they remember this day. As the soldiers made their final preparations, Harrison took a moment to observe the scene. Soldiers checked their weapons, tightened their armor, and shared a few last words of encouragement. The tension was palpable, but so was the determination. The ground began to tremble with the advance of the alien forces. Overlord Korgoth's voice boomed over the comms, filled with derision. Humans, your end is nigh. Prepare to be eradicated. Harrison's jaw clenched. He activated the comms, his voice calm but firm. Unleash the dogs. The gates of the outpost swung open, and the canine unit charged into the fray their movements swift and coordinated. Rex led the pack, his eyes fixed on the enemy. The alien soldiers hesitated, taken aback by the unexpected assault. Lieutenant Mitchell, watching through binoculars, smiled. They didn't see that coming. The dogs moved with precision, weaving through the battlefield, exploiting every gap in the alien formation. They attacked with surgical strikes, their training evident in every move. The aliens, disoriented and confused, struggled to counter the assault. Harrison's voice crackled over the comms. All units, move in. Support the dogs. Human soldiers surged forward, their morale bolstered by the dogs' fearless advance. Private Mark Jensen, who had earlier expressed doubts, found himself inspired by Rex's bravery. He pushed forward, fighting with renewed vigor. The battlefield was a cacophony of chaos and determination. Alien weapons fired, but the dogs were too quick, too agile. They evaded with ease, their instincts honed to perfection. Human soldiers covered their advance, creating a symphony of coordinated attacks. An alien commander, flanked by his guards, shouted orders. Focus on the dogs. They're the key. Rex heard the command and zeroed in on the commander, leading a swift, lethal charge. The alien guards fell under the dog's relentless assault, and Rex leaped, taking down the commander with a powerful bite. Lieutenant Mitchell, witnessing the scene, felt a surge of pride. Good boy, Rex. Keep it up. The tide of battle turned. The aliens, once confident and mocking, now found themselves on the defensive. The human-dog alliance was relentless, their combined efforts breaking the alien lines. Harrison watched from the command center, his heart swelling with hope. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. As the alien forces began to retreat, the human soldiers cheered, their spirits lifted by the unexpected victory. The dogs returned to the outpost, greeted with pats and praises. Rex trotted up to Harrison tail wagging proudly. Harrison knelt beside him, rubbing his head. Good job, Rex. You and the others just saved us all. The night air was filled with the sounds of celebration and relief. The first battle was won, but Harrison knew the war was far from over. They had shown the aliens what humanity was capable of, and there was no turning back. We've got their attention now, he said to Mitchell. Let's make sure we keep it. The battlefield was a cacophony of explosions and shouts, 
a stark contrast to the tense silence that had preceded the alien assault. Captain John Harrison moved through the command center, issuing orders with rapid precision. The success of the initial deployment of the canine unit had given the human soldiers a much-needed boost in morale, but the fight was far from over. Lieutenant Mitchell, status report. Harrison barked into his comms. Rex and his team are holding the eastern flank, sir, Mitchell's voice crackled back. We've managed to push the aliens back, but they're regrouping fast. Harrison nodded, glancing at the tactical display. We need to maintain pressure. Keep the dogs moving. We can't let them form a solid line. On the battlefield, Rex led a squad of dogs in a daring flanking maneuver. The highly trained canines darted through the chaos with agility and precision, their movements fluid and coordinated. They struck the aliens with a ferocity that took the invaders by surprise, disrupting their formations and causing widespread confusion. Private Mark Jensen, who had initially doubted the effectiveness of the dogs, now fought alongside them with renewed determination. Go, Rex. Show them what you've got, he shouted, firing his weapon at the disoriented aliens. Rex barked in response, his eyes sharp and focused. The bond between the soldiers and their canine companions was palpable, each trusting the other implicitly. As Rex and his team continued their assault, Harrison received a new report from Mitchell. Sir, we've identified a heavy artillery unit targeting the command center. We need to take it out, or we risk losing our coordination. Harrison's jaw tightened. Send Rex and a team to neutralize it. We can't afford to lose our command hub. Roger that, Mitchell replied, relaying the orders. Rex and his team swiftly altered their course, making their way towards the artillery position. The mission was perilous, with the alien defenses heavily fortified. As they approached, Rex signaled his team to split up and flank the enemy. The dogs moved with silent precision, using their enhanced senses to navigate the battlefield. They struck from multiple angles, catching the aliens off guard. Explosions rocked the area as the artillery was disabled, the threat to the command center neutralized. Back at the command center, Harrison watched the tactical display with a mixture of relief and admiration. Good work, team. We're holding, but the aliens are preparing a final push. He turned to his officers. We need to be ready. This is their last-ditch effort. If we break them here, we win. As the alien forces regrouped for their final assault, Harrison moved to the front lines to rally his troops. Listen up, everyone. This is it. Hold the line and fight with everything you've got. Our dogs have shown us what courage looks like. Let's finish this. The final clash was brutal. The aliens threw everything they had at the human defenses, but the combined efforts of the soldiers and their canine companions proved too much. Rex, leading the charge, inspired the troops with his unwavering bravery. The tide turned as the human forces, driven by their bond with the dogs, pushed forward with renewed vigor. Korgoth's command ship, the nerve center of the alien assault, became the primary target. Harrison ordered a specialized team, including Rex, to infiltrate and disable it. The mission was a success. The command ship was taken down, leading to a collapse in the alien chain of command. The remaining alien forces, disoriented and leaderless, began to retreat. The battlefield was a storm of chaos. Alien forces surged forward in a desperate final assault, their weapons blazing. The ground shook with the impact of explosions, and the air was thick with smoke and the acrid smell of burning metal. Captain John Harrison stood at the command center, eyes fixed on the live feeds of the battle. All units hold the line. Harrison's voice was steady, but his heart raced. We can do this. Rex, the German shepherd leading the canine unit, darted through the fray, his tactical vest gleaming. The dogs, with their uncanny agility and coordination, moved like shadows, 
striking at the heart of the alien formations. Their unexpected ferocity caused disarray among the enemy ranks. Lieutenant Sarah Mitchell, covered in grime but resolute, fought alongside her team, pushing the aliens back step by step. Captain, the dogs are incredible. They're tearing through their defenses. Good, Harrison replied, his voice tight with concentration. Keep the pressure on. We need to break their command structure. Amidst the chaos, Private Mark Jensen, who had once doubted their chances, now fought with renewed determination. He glanced at Rex, who was leading a charge. Let's show them what we've got, Jensen shouted, rallying his fellow soldiers. The dogs executed a series of coordinated attacks, targeting the alien artillery and communication hubs. Rex, with Lieutenant Mitchell close behind, led a daring assault on the alien command post. The dogs' precision and teamwork were unparalleled, and within minutes, they had neutralized the threat. Korgoth's command ship is vulnerable, Mitchell reported through the comms. We have a chance to end this. Roger that, Harrison acknowledged. Rex, take your team and disable that ship. Rex barked in affirmation and sprinted towards the massive alien vessel, the other dogs following. They infiltrated the ship with silent efficiency, taking down guards and sabotaging critical systems. Explosions rocked the command ship, and the alien forces began to fall into disarray. In the command center, Harrison watched as the alien forces faltered. The once overwhelming enemy now retreated in confusion and fear. They're breaking, he said, a hint of relief in his voice. We've got them on the run. The human soldiers, inspired by the dog's bravery, pressed their advantage. Jensen and his squad led the final push, driving the aliens back until they were in full retreat. The battlefield quieted as the last of the alien ships fled into the sky. Cheers erupted from the human ranks. Soldiers embraced their canine companions, tears of relief and joy streaming down their faces. Lieutenant Mitchell knelt beside Rex, scratching his ears. Good boy, Rex. We couldn't have done it without you. Harrison stepped out of the command center, surveying the aftermath. The outpost, though scarred by battle, stood strong. He gathered his troops, both human and canine, for a final address. Today, we showed the Galactic Empire what we're made of, Harrison began, his voice carrying over the crowd. They laughed at us, but we stood firm. We fought together, and we won together. This victory belongs to every one of you, especially our loyal dogs who fought so bravely. The soldiers cheered, their spirits lifted by the hard-won victory. Harrison continued, we'll rebuild, we'll fortify, and we'll be ready for whatever comes next. But today, we celebrate our resilience and unity. As the outpost began the process of recovery, Harrison looked at Rex, who sat proudly by his side. Thank you, old friend, he murmured, patting Rex's head. We couldn't have done it without you.